we're back. I'm going to place a safety mine over here. Another safety mine. I'm not used to him shooting his asses. I think this is one of those places where you're safe. It's not a fucking dead. Because there's been times in the past where I went somewhere where I thought I was safe from the ass. Oh. That's why so what is he doing? He's just like fucking like throwing up through his back? No, through his mouth. He's just passing out of here. You're stuck in a corner, dude. I'm sorry, but what is that going to do? Like blocking with your hands? Can't get caught in that. Even though this is my story, hun, do you want to tell the viewers the Cluck Cluck Chicken story? Because I'm not good at storytelling. But it is a fantastic story. Or are you concentrating? Okay. So here was the story that um, I heard that you told me, and this was told to you by your old boss at the hotel. Yes, that I did not like. Was, We're okay now, but I did not like her at the time. And she was telling you that this was a story about her grandmother, right? Yes. And when her grandmother was young... And, and she called her something place. else. Okay. Like, because she was Ar Argentinian, so she called her, like, something like Bubby or something. Abuela? Nah, Argentinian isn't Abuelita. even, uh... Argentinian is Spanish. Were you about to say Argentinian is not Spanish? <laughs> is it Spanish? Yes. I don't know. I don't... <laughs> I'm 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 not good at geography. All right, here's some geography, okay? South America, Brazil speaks Portuguese, okay? Okay. All right, Brazil speaks Portuguese, right? Uh huh. Every other country speaks Spanish. Oh, okay. So it's literally every country in South America except for Brazil speaks Spanish. But each Spanish is different, isn't it? Um, they have different. Because there's Brazilian. Brazilian is not a language. Is it they not? They speak Portuguese. You're right. You're, you just said that. Sorry. Exactly. My brain is that's not... That's like saying, that's, you know, how Mexicans speak Spanish? Yeah. Same idea. They don't speak Mexican. They speak Spanish. Same idea. Same I am idea. so unlearned. <laughs> but, um... Yeah. But anyway, so... I'm just gonna say Abuelita, because, you know... Yeah, I so don't her, remember. It, She's from... Her, I, it doesn't sound right, but we're gonna well, go with it. for accuracy. That's the thing with a story. You don't go for accuracy. You tell a good story. Never let the facts get in the way of a good story. <laughs> um, so, um, her, her, her Abu, Abuelita, your old boss's, your old boss's grandmother, her Abuelita, uh -huh. she used to have a pet chicken. I will tell more after this book. Just You're leave it at that. <laughs> That's it. That's the story. <laughs> pet She's chicken. <laughs> We just met a while back, not that it really matters. You're the last asshole in my way, aren't you? You've got fight. Mark. I'll give you that, Ethan. I forgot. But what's the plan when part. you have all four flasks? What are you trying to get at? Alright, so the way I can lend you a this, this next hard part I'm, I'm going to get on my good side. Is... I don't get cocky. Wait. I'd kill you if you weren't worth the trouble. Like There's I'm in a it. Not too far outside the village. Go there and get my flask. Do that, and you pass. First, head back to the graveyard. So That's wait, so why tricky. is he helping you? Yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out. You're probably way. just retrieving it so he could take it from you. We'll find out. We'll that or out. that whole entire like pedestal thing is just part of the ceremony, and you're just a part of the ceremony, and they tricked you into it. We'll find out when we get there. Anyway, so, um, oh yeah, so, uh, yeah. So Abuelita has a chicken, a pet chicken. And she loved her pet chicken. And every day, she would yell to the chicken, 
cluck cluck chicken and the chicken would run up and jump on her and like nuzzle her and hug her and pet her and she loved her chicken and so what the chicken liked to do is it would like to go hide behind the stove in order to uh, <laughs> keep warm so she says we're gonna you know so this is the happy story she's gonna tell she's telling us about how her ch the chicken it's a happy little cluck cluck chicken, chicken. <laughs> and say, cluck cluck chicken and one day she calls out cluck cluck chicken nothing happens no chicken comes running up to her so she's calling her again cluck cluck chicken cluck cluck chicken and the chicken is nowhere to be seen so finally she goes over to the stove and looks behind it and it was dead the end <laughs> No, it's just like, and she asked her, her grandmother, she was just like, but Abuelita, this is supposed to be a happy story. And she was just like, it is a happy story. Chicken was happy. Chicken was happy. Chicken <laughs> can't like, live forever. <laughs> this, is this is a happy story. Chicken was happy. Can't live forever. <laughs> exactly. Chicken was happy. And it's just like the cutest little story that it's just like I just keep on th like I wish that I could have recorded her saying the story, you know, because it was such a good story the way she told it. Like I was enthralled and you have to understand I was enthralled listening to this story from a woman I hated. <laughs> That's got me thinking. Like I remember that day too because she was also wearing a dress mm -hmm. and she the dress was like white or pink or something but it was like real sheer and she had a neon yellow thong mm -hmm. and you could see right through the dress and i was like oh my god should i tell her and then i was like nah <laughs> sorry they startled me i was not ready for there to be those those rams in the way but yeah, no, I talked to that said boss, and I was just like, listen, you know, like, I was kind of a dick. So, I was going through shit. That was when I was going through, like, my, the biggest right. part of my oh, alcoholism. Here we go, guys. Hold on. So this is an optional fight that I wanted to give a try. Yeah? Why? You know those big scary monsters, those big werewolf things? Yeah. Well, the alpha of the pack is in the, is in this cornfield. You see him over there? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> Does he come running at you now? Well, hopefully that's done a little bit. What are you doing? I'm placing all my mines because they stack. Not. Dang, you did it, bro. Yeah. He's five. He fucking ran into those five mobs. Apparently, they stack, from what I hear. Nice. But that's dang. See, that's a, a big bone, daddy. You can imagine how much of a bullet sponge he is if like that. Yeah, since I'm over here, I might as well get the rest of this loot that I couldn't get last time. Those stupid bird dicks, bat dicks, or whatever they I would call them. So, as I was saying. Yeah, I forgot you can just blow right through these, huh? Uh. Just destroying this little village's infrastructure. <laughs> How will they rebuild? They won't. Exactly. They don't. Start from scratch. This place is Actually, if you think about it, man, like, after you finish clearing house here, like, how dope would it be to find this the whole entire village? Mm -hmm. You know, like, you're just hiking. You know, beside the dead body, the blood, the mutants, possible infections that are still around. Oh, yeah. Basically, how cool would it be to have an abandoned village that had no downsides? That's what you're getting at. Yeah. Be pretty cool. Alright, now I got this pig. This pig's mine. Oh, wrong one. Eh, scared him. <laughs> oh shit. Can they hurt you bad? I don't know bad. Dang, this motherfucker tough. He's like, you're not getting these ham hocks easy. Exactly. You're gonna or you're gonna work for your meal. <laughs> 
All, All right. right. We're gonna head to the. We're gonna head to the uh, stronghold next time, babies. Bye. Bye bye.